Thank you for tuning in to Terry Swoop videos. On today's video, I'm going to do a Where Are They Now on the actress and comedian Angela Means. She's most known for her role as Felicia on the movie Friday. This was a comedy movie that grossed $30 million in 1995. This movie was written and directed by Ice Cube. And she plays the role of a dope head who always begs the neighbors for stuff. And the character was so funny to the point where a lot of people would dress up as Felicia for Halloween. Even to this day, people are dressing up as Felicia for Halloween. And the term by Felicia comes from Friday. A lot of people use that term by Felicia when they're tired of talking to somebody that gets on their nerves. Now, Angela Means actually started out as a comedian in the early 90s on a Def Jam comedy show. She appeared on the show two times and she killed it both times. She's a funny comedian. I've always thought she's really funny. A lot of people think if you're a beautiful woman, you can't be funny, but she proves that you can be beautiful and be funny at the same time. But she appeared on Def Comedy Jam between 1992 and 1993. And then in 1994, she gets the part on House Party 3. In House Party 3, she plays kids, girlfriend, fiance, and I thought she was great in this movie. And then in 1998, she gets the part on the TV show, Cousin Skeeter. This is a show that was on the air for three seasons between 1998 and 2001. This was a kid's show that was on the Nickelodeon channel. Bill Bellamy played the role of Cousin Skeeter, and she played the wife and mother on the show. But this show was on the air for three years and I never actually saw the show. But if you were a kid in the late 90s that watched Nickelodeon, you probably remember the show. But after Cousin Skeeter went off the air in 2001, she pretty much retired from the show business and became an entrepreneur, business owner, restaurant owner, and started running her own soul food vegan restaurant. And that's what she's doing today. Today, she's 56 years old. And as you can see, she looks lovely for a 56 year old woman. And she's all about teaching people how to make soul food in a more healthy manner without all the high calories, without all the meats, because there are certain ways that you can make vegan meat without the actual meat. You can make vegan cheese without the actual cheese. So there's a lot of ways that you can eat soul food more healthy and I'm glad that she's educating people on this. A lot of people have different opinions about this topic. Leave a comment, rate, and subscribe. How does everyone have diabetes? How does everyone have hypertension here in Jefferson Park? But we can eliminate obesity. We can eliminate diabetes. Who would have thought Felicia from Friday would be operating a vegan soul food truck on Crenshaw? Talking about healthy vegan soul food. And with us today is Angela Means, the owner of Jackfruit Cafe. Good to see you. So this is good very exciting for me because I'm a vegan. I've been vegetarian since I was 18, vegan for about four years. And I honestly find it pretty simple. Yes. Right? It's not as difficult as most people think. And I think it's super healthy. Let's talk about jackfruit, first of all, because everyone keeps telling me about this jackfruit. And as a vegan and a vegetarian, I've never really even heard of that. <laughs> wow. The amazing yeah. thing about jackfruit is that it's it's a fruit. And fruit, fruits heal the body. Fruits mm -hmm. detox the body. Yeah. So not only, and, it, and it's light on the digestive system. So it's full of nutrients, minerals, potassium, yes. iron, all that stuff, fiber. Like you can literally, you could literally live off of jackfruit. Now, the, for example, mm -hmm. is that one of the, is this jackfruit made into? This is jackfruit. This is barbecue jackfruit. I'm going to make you a soul platter today. Okay. And this anchors our, huh, see what I did? Anchors yes. our, <laughs> <laughs> that was very good. Anchors our, our soul platter okay. along with your, and we're going to, we're going to substitute bread mm -hmm. for your, with your chickpea. Okay. Meatballs. And then these, these right here, I want to touch on these. We, we, oh, we kill our greens. Let's not kill our greens anymore. Just a little, this a little saute. Mm -hmm. They're crunchy. They're still green and lemon zest. Lemon I zest. call these my Kenyatta moon 
uh, greens. And you also can put like an olive oil on them too. I don't put yeah. anything on these greens oh, and you're okay. gonna take you're gonna see Just you're gonna you know that while maybe you can make me a little bit yeah, of the macaroni yeah. and cheese let's talk about um it, we're gonna put it in that bowl so yes. I can taste it. Yes, um, you know, especially in African American um, communities, there are a lot of high blood. There's a lot of high blood pressure. And yep. Put this in here. Yep. I actually want to taste it. You go, girl. <laughs> um, it's you probably go, girl. cold, but that's okay. It's still um, a little warm. But the high blood pressure is a big deal, right? We've gotten and people off of their medication. Yes. People have come in with their A1C count up to 12.7 yes. and down to 5.2 in is four that? months. It's according to um, according to most experts. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that great? According to and, experts? Um, it, it's meat. Yeah. It's not sugar. Mm -hmm. Sugar only affects the diabetes, but meat causes the diabetes. Yeah. And I know it for a fact. I was pre-diabetic. Mm -hmm. I was having issues. I watched my mother. I, I was at my mother's bedside mm -hmm. when she passed of cancer. And I told myself, no one has to live like this. I, I can do something. To whom much is mm -hmm. given, much is required. Yeah. I'm a good cook. I'm available. And I'm you're sharing going to it feed. with the community. Yes, ma'am. Okay, Angela, and she also has a, a great cookbook that's coming out in the near future. Um, don't forget to check out her restaurant. Um, that's opening in June, and you can always head over to jackfruitcafe.com. Thank you.